Good morning everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out FS Scoreboard, and this adds like a different type of scoreboard compared to your default one, where um, you can actually set your server name, your total player count, a Discord server, a logo, that type of thing. And it's, it's pretty much the same way as the default um, button on your 5M, where it's the up arrow, and it opens up a list of all the players who are currently on your server, which I think just makes it look a little bit better than the default uh, 5M one. So today we're going to check this one out. Um, if you have any suggestions for videos, leave them down in the comments and leave a link to the resource page you want me to check out. It very much helps me uh, sort through everything. Also subscribe because only like 11% of you are actually subscribed. So let's get that number up quite a lot. Anyway, let's get started. So one thing we're going to do straight off the bat is download it from GitHub, just like every other resource pretty much we do on this channel. To download it from GitHub, go to the link at the top of the description, click this big green button and press download zip. It will go ahead and download a zip, open it up with WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever you use. And you can see in here, you have the HTML, the config file, all that good stuff is inside here. If we go back to the resource overview page, um, it will tell you uh, how to change like the style sheet and everything. Um, you can also change the folder name in that case, but you do not want to change the folder name by default. We never do in any of these videos anyway, but we're just going to drag it into our resources folder. Um, if you don't have a resources folder, you do need a server for this. I'll leave a link to the server setup down in the description as well. So when you're in here, make sure you rename this and get rid of the dash main at the end that GitHub adds. It needs to be exactly FS scoreboard, just how it is here in my folder. If we go in here and go to the config.lula and edit it with notepad++, you have the server icon, so you'll put a link to your server icon, your server name, so I'm just going to name it Noodles' server, or something like that. I won't put a apostrophe, I'll just say Noodles' server. And then your website, so I'll put bghd.dev, and then your Discord server, whatever your Discord server may be. Mine is uh, bghddevelopment.com slash discord, like that. How many of your max players are on the server? This server, it is eight. And the key binding that you want to open up that scoreboard, by default, it's the one from 5M, but you can go to the control reference and change that as well as needed. And then if you go to your server data and go to your server.cfg file, you're going to go ahead and add insure the name of the resources type. It is FS scoreboard, just like that. You're going to want to do this with any resource you add. Make sure you don't have any conflicting uh, scoreboard resources on here. Otherwise, it may not work properly. All right, let's hop in game, see what it's like. Oh, I did forget one of the most important steps. Let's actually start our server up. So you start your server, um, wh however you do that, if it's through your web interface, if it's through your uh, fxserver.exe file, or whatever you do, your start.bat file as well. And what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you see the started resource, the name of the resource, which in our case we do here, FS scoreboard. Now we are good to go to hop in game. All right, so if we check our uh, key binding here, it is the input enter cheat code key binding, which is a little squiggly line. So if we go in game here and we click that little squiggly line, there's our scoreboard, there's my ID, there's my name, there's our total players, there's our links, everything there, just how we wanted to set it up. So that is how you do this. If you have questions, please ask on the resource page. Hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you in a couple of days. Wolf will be taking over some videos this week um, but other than that I will be back in about a week so I will see you all soon hopefully you have a good rest of the week and I will talk to you all later goodbye everyone. So just hit me.